I'm hoping the chef decides not to send the testicles out because I think I might have a problem eating that, but just... You can make a request, I mean... No testicles? No teeth. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> I'm not free well, or what? No. I don't need the nuts. <laughs> right. Allergies. Not free. <laughs> um... I'm Angie Rito, and I am the chef partner at Don Angie in the West Village. I am Scott Tassinelli, and I am also chef partner at Don Angie in the West Village. We are a husband and wife <laughs> chef team. It's challenging at times, for sure. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> That's usually my line. I usually yeah, say. I had to swoop in. Don Angie is an Italian-American restaurant in the West Village of New York City. And we kind of take like a new approach to Italian-American cuisine. We both grew up in Italian-American families. We're both very passionate about Italian-American food. We approach our food with sort of like no boundaries, kind of riffing on things that we ate growing up or regional cuisine that we've had in Italy. I mean, I think Don Angie is very un-Italian, but very Italian-American. It's like grandma cooking, but like she's in her 20s or something like that. So we are making our strachino gnocchi with sharp provolone and broccoli rub. We start with a little bit of garlic. So the base of this sauce is made with shallots, yellow chives, creme fraiche, and like a lemon puree. This is pickled broccoli rub. So the gnocchi themselves are made with strachino cheese, which is like a soft, creamy cow's milk cheese, as well as sharp provolone, parmesan, uh, bound with some egg flour, and there's like a little lemon zest in there. We're gonna add a little parmesan, lightly seasoned creme fraiche with a oil that's made with Japanese garlic chives. So we're just gonna finish it with like a little freshness on top. We're gonna use a little Japanese mizuna, which we like for to use here at the restaurant. It's kind of like resembles arugula. Yeah. A little bit of sharp provolone. We're gonna just grate really, with a really fat grater. And this is our strachino gnocchi with broccoli rabe and sharp provolone. Uh, I feel horrible. <laughs> not gonna lie, yeah, I do not feel good. We have not, had a night out like that in quite some time. Yeah. So. Definitely since we had the baby. Last night we started at Don Angie. My best friend from growing up, Aaron, came and met us here. Our CDC, Adam, was already in the house because he was working. I think he's worked with us for eight or nine years at yeah. three different restaurants. He has been through a ton with us. He's also a really good friend. Yeah. So we... He's almost he's feels like, like family. Part the, he's part of the family, honestly. So he joined us and the four of us started our evening at Johnny's Bar which is across the street from Don Angie and happens to also be one of our favorite bars in New York City. We have like a real love for dive bars. Yeah. And, you know, these things are vanishing very quickly. So when we opened this restaurant, we were like, oh man, one of the coolest dive bars I've ever seen is literally directly across the street. Nothing would be more fitting than to start there with a quick little beer. Yeah, we definitely go out less now that we have I mean, a little a, baby. A lot less. Yeah, a lot less. Like if but we used to go out 10 out of 10, now we go out like one out of 10. Very well, we used to go out like very, very often. Yeah. So first stop is Ernesto's. You guys have been there or no? No. Not yet. Ernesto's is a Basque style restaurant that's owned and operated by our friend, uh, Chef Ryan Bartlow. Oh, yeah. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Thanks for choosing us. <laughs> I mean, of course. It's just a beautiful restaurant. It's on the corner, it has all windows. It has just like a very light, like airy kind of feel. The one thing about Ernesto's is the menu changes all the time. Yeah. Probably like, I think he changes it like weekly, honestly. So we got the pagildas, which are, it's more anchovies, peppers, and olives. We got the chips and ham. One of their like well-known dishes there, it's kind of like this pile of jamon iberico on top of like a homemade potato chips. And then we got the, they call it Bikini Hemingway. I don't know if this is like a... Well, the, the name of the restaurant, restaurant Ernesto's, is it's named after Ernest Hemingway. That sandwich is awesome. It's like grilled cheese with shrimp, and then it has, it's like honey or something on it. Very good, the combination works really good. Very, I would love one of those right now, actually. I always really love his croquettes. The croquettes are just like, yeah, I don't know how he gets them like so soft like that. They're like mind blowing. Here I have the pincho matrimonial. Oh, oh Jack hot. The best thing we ate, I thought all night, my favorite thing was the matrimonio toast with the pickled <laughs> anchovy and regular anchovy and raw garlic. It was just like, I thought it was, I could have eaten. It's like the perfect bite. Yeah. So before we left Ernesto's, we went to the back. So the back part of Ernesto's, there's the kitchen, there's a little Pincho's bar. There's also a cafe that they have during the day. Well, we went back there, sat, had a drink, talked to Ryan. Yeah, it was it was just awesome to see Ryan. Ryan is like, he's just like the nicest person ever. Mm -hmm. Like he's, the, and he's like the salt of the earth. Oh thank you so Bye. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank well, you, thank you. Well, gonna have some sweat. No, I <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
what happened? <laughs> so Aaron and I, childhood friends, grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. There was a gentleman there who was also from Cleveland. Uh, we were just commenting on how. Wherever we go out, you, you kind of know. You know I can, I can smell because I've. ID them you from can across the room. Sense the Cleveland. You smell the too. Yes. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. So after we left Ernesto's, we headed over to Damaka. It's in the new Essex market. You know, we lived literally a block away from there for six years. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you. Of course. Thank you for having us. And Damaka is Chef Chintan's restaurant, and Ronnie is like his partner, and they're amazing, hilarious people. Right yeah. now, cheers. 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 Nice little drink, man. <laughs> it kind of looks like a Cosmo. It does. So at Damaka, we ordered grilled paneer, which they make the paneer in house, and it was amazing. It almost. It was so good. Yeah, it tasted like tofu, like really good tofu. Which the I'm, texture of it. Yeah. Oh, we had the palm fret, which is like a little tiny fish. I actually asked Chintan where he got it from, and he said he, he wouldn't tell me. But it looks kind of like. They remind me of like a sunfish. Like yeah, it looks I like a bluegill. To... Really tasty, really good, very crispy. <laughs> That's and we had he sent us out. these yes. little tiny Stuff. sweet peppers stuffed with like peanut sauce. Amazing. Hello. Hello. Baby Shark, which we had to get because our son's, one of his favorite songs is that Baby Shark song. Yes. So we told him this morning that we ate his favorite song. He doesn't really understand it. He was, uh, yeah, unfazed. It's actually, it's not, it's dogfish, but it was really good. I've that never had that before. so delicious, like, yeah. that was so good. And then we had, oh, the goat biryani, which was oh, yeah. amazing. Honestly, I was starting to get really full at that point, but. They cook everything in that one vessel and they cover the whole thing um, basically with like this thin piece of bread. And then at the table, they basically like open that bread and mix together the biryani. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. It was really good. It was very spicy. The food is, it's kind of the, it's kind of the spice that really creeps up on you. Very spicy. Spicy as a motherfucker. Very spicy. Good, it's really good. It was great. I really... I think it's... I thought it was a perfect level of spice. I think beer pairs well with that yeah. kind of foods. Oh, God. It's another layer of heat, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you later. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. I'll see you later. <laughs> so next we're going to Arturo's on the corner of Thompson and Houston. Probably our favorite thing to do is go to a red sauce place. Yeah, 100%. We love Arturo's though because it's like a super old school spot. They have this like crazy coal oven that is like grandfathered in. It's like one of three or whatever in New York City that can still produce this like authentic like coal oven pizza that's fucking phenomenal and delicious. Are you Scott? Yes. Not a real I'm Angie. Show. Thank you so oh, much for uh, having nice us. To meet you. you too. We love to go to Italian American old school restaurants, not only because they're just like delicious and comforting and like nostalgic to us, but also because oftentimes we draw a lot of inspiration from them. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is as good as it gets. Dying and going to heaven. I mean, how old do you think this That's is? Dude? I'm not even kidding. Oh, like, shit. Don't touch it. Like, <laughs> don't touch it. Right. I don't know exactly how many years it's been open for, but it, I tried over to find... 50, over yeah, 50 over years. 50. Well, I got the shirt. Let's see. Mike's on the <laughs> shirt. I forgot that I got the shirt. I actually got four shirts. Right. One for everybody. Completely forgot about them until I came back to the restaurant this morning. It was a pleasant surprise. We got the antipasto salad. Salad, which was... Good. Angie gave me all the anchovies. It's always interesting to see how every restaurant does their antipasto Yeah, everyone does it different. Clams are kind of easy. And then we had the clams Arturo. Yeah, that was, it was good. That was like probably one of my favorite things of the night too. They were really good. We had artichokes oreganata because we love artichokes. Or were they artichokes casino? I don't know, but they were good. Oh my God. And then we had a pizza. You know, you got to get a pizza when you go there. The one thing I love at Arturo's is I love the meatball pizza. They clearly make their own meatballs there, and then they slice them really thin. I love that, yeah. yeah. They're like thin slices of, you know, almost how like pepperoni would be, but it's like a meatball. It's amazing. Oh, we, they did give us like a little bit of this awesome bread in the beginning, right? It was, it was like garlic bread with like a little tomato sauce. Uh, it was good. It was, it was really, really good. good. Definitely yeah. went really hard there. I definitely but, kissed my sobriety goodnight. Yeah, because yeah. I had a Manhattan with Adam, and then we drank a <laughs> bottle of wine, which definitely shouldn't have done because that I don't even think I me, had any of the wine. That always makes me forget what's going on, red wine, yeah. for some reason. Yeah, I remember Adam ordering the chocolate mousse, and... Wait, we had chocolate mousse? We did. I do not remember that. We did. <laughs> I, no, I don't remember that because that's when we... That was after the wine. And there was that special person. Oh, and there. then Max Weinberg was there playing the drums. At Arturo's, they have a piano player, which is, you don't see that very often yeah, at very all cool. anymore. 
all of a sudden Max Weinberg was eating dinner there and decides to sit in with the piano and play like a little bit of song they were playing. I don't yeah. remember, but I think I, a, I think I took a video of it actually. Hilarious that you're here tonight. Uh, we have a little baby, he's 14 months, and he's like, he's getting into the drums. It's a great thing for kids to do. Yeah. It releases a lot of energy. That's how I got into it, you know, seven years ago. Yeah. I think that's what we love about those places, right? Is that like, they're, and that's what we love about dive bars. These things are like, you can't. You can't like produce that. You can't replicate that, you know? Like you old school places it. like Arturo's are just like steeped in history and they've been around for years and you can, you know, you can feel that when you, when you step inside. Mm -hmm. I hope they never change. Just hope people keep them as they are because it's, Speaking it's important to the fabric of New York City. We have a big thing where we like to sing church songs. One bread. One body. Well, the need is like Paul. You know what I want to say? Bread. One body. Jesus, which we love. No more. Area. Yet we. The many. Throughout the world. So where are we heading? Don Angie? 12th Street Avenue. Oh shit, Avenue. we gotta make some food. Avenue. Oh, absolutely not. But I had like, hello? Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna get down there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. This is where it starts to get kind of fuzzy for me. Well, yeah. very, very fuzzy actually. A little bit. So we made shrimp fried rice. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.